Hi guys, on my previous video, we have learned on how to draw a pie chart dynamically from the code. So today, I will try to show you on how to draw a stacked bar chart from the code with my SQL. In this tutorial, we will keep the filter and feature like before so uh, the database is still same so uh, if you already try to make it before I think you can just copy that project to a different folder and then you can start to modify it okay first you need to change the layout to become like this and then I will show you about how to code the project okay uh, as you can see uh, there is a little bit different with the previous lesson in this tutorial we will use a uh, size ever form as you can see uh, we will show a minimize and maximize button uh, the layout is a little bit different the chart type is different but from the code side it's not uh, really different with the previous one Okay, this is the previous one. In the previous one, we have a function to get a subtotal, but over here we only use uh, one parameter. But for the new one, the difference is we still need a uh, we will gonna use a uh, same function but I add one parameter to filter the query not only for the year but also for the month for this part is similar like before this one is also similar but for this procedure whenever we show the, the grid we will add uh, more column over here we will add uh, 12 uh, more column from January to December and for that function uh, now we use uh, two parameter and for the query I will explain it to you a little bit uh, in this project we will use uh, three different query first we will use this query to get the subtotal per month Yeah, the subtotal will be show it at the top of the line and for the second one we will use this query to get the total for each product and per month yeah for the car we sell for this much computer for this much and each and for the last one we will use this query to get the total for the selected product per month yeah let's say uh, I filter it for a car and we sell for this much for this month okay uh, we will call this function 
whenever we try to draw the socket bar chart yeah we change the name of for this procedure uh, at the top of the line i will populate the subtotal with the function i will try to deactivate it Yeah, as you can see at the top of the line I will populate this total for each month then after I populate this total I will try to populate the product into a string grid okay uh, let's see uh, different yeah, as you can see now we have a product over here and the row for this grid will be changed depending on how much uh, sorry on how many product that we have okay uh, now let's we try to activate this part and let's run it okay now we have a total for each product then this is the part for drawing the bar, uh, bar chart okay i will explain it a little bit to you at the first line we will clear the sheriff from the code we change the title like before this part is for changing the style and for adding a series we will use this comment the difference with the C bar series is uh, we don't have to add the comment line and also for this comment so with the command line we will set the C bar series for a multi bar properties in, into a, this uh, type of chart and if we deactivate this We will get this text but I think we don't need this so we can hide this with this uh, comment yeah we will hide the mark so uh, when we try to draw a series we will uh, use a different name of the series for the first one we will uh, set the name for the series to stack it uh, with the combination of the product we will get the product name for the with this code and then uh, we will add the legion title with the product uh, name oh sorry i think uh, with the man name yeah at the Oh, sorry I think 
with the product name sorry then in this part we will try to fill the series value from the January to December with this code at the first parameter we will add the value for each product yeah let's say we add a car series then we will add the value for the car series for January the second parameter we will add the series name yeah we will combine the month name with the year based on this column and then we will set the color with the random color Okay, that's only a big difference in this tutorial with the previous one. So, uh, if we see over here, there is no formatting for uh, currency. So we will add this, add this code to format the. value for each column yeah now you can see a currency format and for the last one if I try to deactivate this code then size with the maximize screen then as you can see over here the size for uh, string grid and chart is a little bit uh, small so we need to set it to fit to the form so we will gonna use this code to uh, change uh, whenever to change automatically whenever you change the form size yeah now it look much better okay guys uh, thanks for watching my video hope this tutorial can help you uh, learn how to draw a socket bar chart from uh, Delphi application okay the, don't forget to subscribe to uh, my channel you can see a uh, subscribe button over here Okay, uh, thanks for watching, uh, bye.